Hello everyone, welcome back to Ruthie's Corner. So, we are back with part two of the bag from Mike. Um, from Mike at You Like Jewelry on YouTube. So You Like Jewelry is his YouTube channel. I will put his link down below in the description. But this is the lot of jewelry I got from him. Already got a lot of great pieces. This ring, for instance. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Really? Um, so yeah, here's the rest. Already got some really nice stuff. He makes his own jewelry as well. Like he'll take pieces and reconstruct them into his own style. Um, so we have a gold bangle with some plastic cabochons to look like stone. Oh, this is, um, what does that say? It's got markings on it. R-J-G-C-N. R-J-G-C-N. So it does have a maker's mark. Never heard of it before. And like I said, this is gold tone. That's nice. R-G-N. I don't know. I can do five on that if anyone's interested. All right. Oh, look at this bracelet. This reminds me of my Premier Design one I have, but these don't screw off. I think these are plastic. But you got purple on the inside, and then you got red and green. I believe these are stainless steel. Very heavy. Very heavy. And I'll give you a wearable length. And we are at eight inches. I can do six dollars on this one. It's like in perfect condition. No signs of wear or anything. All right. That's a heavy piece. That's probably a pound right there. Um, silver tone. These are cute. And they're like little chain links. I wish they were silver because I'd wear the heck out of these. This is a nice size hoop too. Let's see. About two and a half inches round. Nice size. We can do three dollars on them. They're actually kind of different too. That's cool. Three buckaroos, three buckaroos. Here's another bracelet with crosses. Huh, interesting. It's not magnetic. I don't see any marks or anything. Could be copper or something. I don't know, but that's cute. Gold tone. That's cute. Now, I mean, 
to give you a size, I mean, because this can be opened or closed, but where it is now, I'll give you a size. You got an idea. Approximately. Six and a half inches where it is right now, but it can open up. So that's cute. It's not magnetic, but I don't think this is gold. So we can do five on that. That's beautiful. All right, here we got some vintage bracelets, the chevron. They do need, it does need a bath. Has the enamel. This one's a cream color. This one's a Malibu or a turquoise, kind of like my shirt. These are actually very nice. Gold tone in the inside. That one don't have any markings. And this one doesn't have any markings. Um, I can do $3 a piece, anyone's interested. These are approximately eight inches. Okay. <clears throat> this is silver tone. And it has um, like A, B, if, you, if I'm not mistaken, I think this is just like a long strip of that material. And then it's just glued on. Oh, it's kind of small, so it is for a kid. I'm actually going to give this to my great niece when I'm going out to. Ah, uh, we got a package, another package. Here's a bright. Ooh, this looks pretty. So this is a silver tone bangle. And it has these little plastic um, beads in there, or cabochons, um, to look like turquoise. Which they did a pretty good job. Oh, and in some in some places, if the silver metal is a solid color, and then it'll go meshy looking, and then solid, and then mesh. See how the material changes? That's pretty cool. Huh. That's different. I don't think I've ever seen a bracelet like that before. It's in great shape, too. Yeah. See, <clears throat> see what size you are, buddy. Eight inches. I can do four dollars on that. All right, let's see what we have in these bags here. Okay, this is a cuff link. Very different. I've never seen a cuff link like this before. They almost look copper. Huh. I don't see any marks or anything. Hmm. There's the other one. Collar clip. Oh, that's what them things are. It's got the original little thing. You know, this is vintage. I don't see any names or anything, though. Just for giggles, let me test this. 
Well, that's cool. Okay, that's a collar clip. All right, so that's that. Old tone. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, yeah. So this is a brooch. Here's the front. So marcosites, and these are probably black onyx. And it has these two chains hanging. It's probably um, silver plated because it doesn't have that much of a snatch. Hmm. Well, them are just glass. But that's pretty. That's very nice. Okay. Here is a tie clip. Gold tone. And it has the black stone in there, which I'm pretty sure that's black onyx. Or jet light, yeah, that's going into tourmaline. Tourmaline highlight. That's actually very nice. I'm not giving prices for these because I wouldn't even know. It almost looks like there's something written on there. This might be gold filled or something. Not sure. Like I said, I'm not giving prices because I don't even know what to charge for this kind of stuff. Oh, this one's pretty cool. Silver tone. And look like little stones in there, little gemstones. Let's just take a look, shall we? Oh, they're just glass. Just glass, but that's cute. They're like grayish, bluish little stones. Okay, clip. Hmm. Oh, I think this is the kind that kind of screws. Huh. All right. Interesting. All this stuff back. All organized. Okay. Now, oh, is this cute? Sterling silver. Tarnish resistant. $15. Sterling silver, stainless steel, ear clutch. This is cute. So, these earrings, this is metal. How oh, I'm keeping this. I'm going to test it to make sure it's sterling silver. CH925 and then that SU in a circle. And then the chain with the little pendant with the same flower. How cute is that? You know what? No, no. I can't keep this stuff, man. I can't keep this. I'll do ten dollars. Anybody wants this, I'll sell it for ten bucks. Oh, and I I forgot. Someone told gave me some advice too to start um, letting everyone know when, which is good advice. When I do a video, 
and I throw prices out there, whatever date I posted that video, a week later, one week only, one week, that them that sale is no more. So if, if it's been over a week, then no. Things are only up for sale for a week after the video is posted. So that's cute. Yeah, we can do 10 bucks on that. Alrighty. Here is a clamper bracelet with these dyed, probably howlite stones up here. That's cute. That's really nice. Southwestern, I think. I can do $6 on that one. I don't see any marks or names or anything like that. I don't think it's sterling silver. Probably like stainless steel or something. Oh my god. Nice heavy duty. Yeah, six bucks. All right, have these seed beads. Weird colors, different. There's red, the peacock colors, yellow. Do two dollars on that. Two dollars. Oh, this is cute. This is um got a tag on it. I can get it out. It's like stuck in this little circle. And it says Monet. Oh, really? Oh gosh. I'll try to show you guys. Otherwise, you have to take my word for it. Monet. Gold tone and black. Has an extender. That's actually cute. I like that. Simple, gets to the point. It's like brand spanking new. Um, wearable length with the extender is approximately nine and a half inches. The extender is approximately two and a half inches so seven inches to nine and a half inches um I can do eight on that it's like brand new I think this is more modern perfect condition black and gold eight bucks Monet well what is this oh look at this cute little Looks like plastic. There's something written on the back. Can't make it out though. Polan? Polene? I don't know. Maybe it was someone's name. I can't quite make it out though. It's a clown. Uh huh. This reminds me of a cookie. Yes, a cookie. I don't know why, but it reminds me of a cookie. <laughs> That's cute. That's different. I don't know what material this is made of. But I have a brooch and pin lot that I'm putting together, so that'll go into it. Oh, look at this ring. This is uh, adjustable, too. Silver tone. Look at the construction. 
side howl light, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's dyed how light. It's adjustable. I don't see any marks or anything. I know this is not sterling silver. Wow, look at that. So where it's at right now fits fits on my pink my pointy finger so I'm thinking that's like an eight and a half but it is adjustable that's cute nice and heavy duty that's cute I can do um eight dollars on that you know what I'm sorry yeah let's do eight dollars on that we can do eight dollars if anyone's interested. That's a cool ring. Here's another one. This is another stretchy. I don't know what kind of stone this is. Feels plastic, but doesn't feel plastic. It's a dome. We'll be all blinged out in a minute. I could do seven on this one. <clears throat> seven on this stretchy. This is like black and white. And then this is like a brownish slash. You know to make sure it wasn't amber or something. I'm not quite sure what that is. Depends on how the light hits it, too. That's cute. Alright. Oh, here's a bracelet. It has little hearts with enamel. That's cute. We can do $3 for that. Three bucks. Three dollar. Three dollar. There's a bangle. Gold tone in the inside. I see no markings. And let me make sure all these rhinestones are here. And yes, they are. And this is very heavily plated or enamel. It has a nice amount of enamel on there. That's pretty. Very pretty. We can do six dollars for that. It's like a cream color. That's pretty. There's a baggie full of chains here. Oh, wow. I get a lot of these, too. But I've never had these twisty ones. But here's the thing. They have a tag on it saying 925. But then when you go to test it. Here, let's just check one. How about we do that? Where, oh, where did I put it? You know what? I can't right now. I didn't wipe this off. I don't have a... Oh, yes, I do. My, my goodness. Where are we at? 25. I'm going to test this. We're going to have to... We're going to have to do one more part. I'm trying not to make my videos too long anymore. Ready? The 
the last piece we tested it came up positive for silver it was the scratch was still illuminated white so it's definitely silver okay so check the clasp I mean it would be nice if this stuff is actual silver that would be awesome but I doubt it because it's nothing for a company to throw one of them 925 tags on there That color doesn't, it's got, the color has almost like a reddish, a rusty color to it. And then, I know that, but a lot of people don't really like these kind of necklaces because they snag your hair. But some do. Someone has like short hair or something like that. Alright, let's check the situation. No, no, and no. No, all across the board. But still, these are beautiful chains. And I can still... Oh, this one's flawed, though. Can you guys see it? Can you see that? So that'll go into crafting. Oh, this one kind of does, too. You can see it right there. See it? Right there. So that'll go into crafting. Can we get one good one? Yeah, I'm not sure about oh this one's okay. Maybe I can get one out of the three. Throw a pendant on there. So, okay. Oakley doakley. All right, everyone. That's it for part two. Again, this is from Mike. You like jewelry. That's his YouTube channel. You like jewelry. Go check him out. And, um, yeah. Hey, if you're not a subscriber, go down below. Hit subscribe. It's free. Join the family. Um, again, everyone, remember when I hit 150 subscribers, I'll be showing you guys the giveaway. There's going to be a giveaway for me to reach 200 subscribers. So if you have any advice for me on how I can build my channel, um, Kristen D, she has her channel as well. Um, she's been doing videos on teaching people how to, um, promote your, you know, different tricks and stuff to do to, to boost your channel. Um, so yeah, I could use all the advice I can get. Um, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Um, I accumulate jewelry, some I keep for myself, um, some I give away as gifts, and some I resell. I think I give away more than I sell, which is fine with me. Um, I just love doing this. It's it's calming to me. And yeah, I enjoy doing the videos and reaching out to the community and socializing with folks. And yeah, it's just nice. So again, thank you everyone. Thanks to all my subscribers that always come back and watch um, and always support me. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. And of course, we'll be back because we still have a little more to go. All right, everyone. Toodles.